While the world laughed at Cybertruck memes and watched the Tesla bot dancing at live events, something much bigger was happening behind the scenes. But almost no one noticed. It was 2026. And amidst grand announcements and futuristic prototypes, Elon Musk was quietly preparing a move that could redefine the entire automotive industry. It wasn't a new luxury model or an extravagant feature. It was something deeper, more technical, and even more revolutionary, the adoption of aluminum ion batteries. While attention was focused on the spotlight, Musk worked silently, fine-tuning the last details of a technology that promised to change everything. For years, lithium batteries were considered the backbone of the electric revolution. But now, with global challenges of scarcity, expensive extraction, and safety risks, this foundation was beginning to show cracks. It was at this moment that Tesla decided to bet on something completely new, and more importantly, viable. The Model 2, that same entry-level car that promised to bring electric vehicles to the general public, would be the first to carry this change at its heart. Nobody expected that Tesla's most affordable car would also be the most technologically audacious. The idea of a battery made with aluminum might sound strange to those who don't closely follow the world of engineering, but this abundant and inexpensive material has always been there just waiting to be used in the right way. And when Elon Musk began acquiring small startups specializing in electrochemistry and advanced materials, often without fanfare, it was already clear to those who could read between the lines, a new era was about to begin. But like almost everything involving Tesla, this came with a touch of surprise and audacity. The interesting thing is that aluminum ion is not just an update of the old formula. It is, in fact, something else entirely, a new paradigm. Unlike lithium, aluminum doesn't depend on unstable countries or opaque supply chains. It can be extracted cleanly on a large scale and at much lower costs. And when you think about a car like the Model 2, built to run in the millions, every penny counts. This change wasn't just an environmental choice, it was, above all, strategic. Strategically, aluminum ion technology was a perfect fit for Tesla's 2026 vision. The company needed something to break free from the constraints of the traditional market, something that would allow it to scale global production without encountering the same problems that paralyzed other automakers. While European manufacturers were still struggling to maintain lithium supply contracts, Tesla was already exploring its independence with a lighter, safer, and recyclable material. And, best of all, with a supply chain virtually immune to geopolitical crises. In 2026, the big turning point began to be seen not in the commercials, but in the technical data. Journalists started to find the Model 2's performance figures strange. How was it possible to charge so quickly? Why did the safety tests exceed all industry standards? And where did this absurd durability come from? The answer lay in what no one expected. Aluminum, until then relegated to car bodies and wheels, was now at the heart of the revolution, a common metal in an extraordinary application. Tesla knew what it was doing. Launching this technology in the Model 2 wasn't just a technical move, it was a symbolic choice. After all, the brand's cheapest car would also be its most innovative. Instead of putting aluminum ion technology in a Roadster or Model S, as might be expected, the company chose the people's car. This says a lot about Musk's strategy. Popularize, scale, dominate. It wasn't about exclusivity. It was about access. And that's precisely when the world began to wake up to what was happening. The technical advantages of aluminum ion technology are not just pretty numbers on a lab spreadsheet. They reconfigure the basis of everything we understand today as an electric battery. One of the biggest surprises for those encountering this technology is the complete absence of rare metals such as cobalt, nickel, and manganese. While in the past these raw materials were seen as indispensable, today they represent an expensive, controversial, and unstable obstacle. Replacing them with aluminum 
a widely available, inexpensive, and easily extracted material, is not only intelligent, it's an industrial liberation. Aluminum is mined in more than 40 countries around the world, most notably China, India, and Australia. But what's most striking is the price. While cobalt fluctuates violently between $30,000 and $80,000 per ton, aluminum comfortably stays in the $2,200 range. It's such a brutal difference that it almost seems like a miscalculation, but it's not. This discrepancy is what allows Tesla to design cheaper vehicles without sacrificing quality or performance. It's like swapping filet mignon for a good rice and beans. Simpler, but incredibly nutritious and affordable. And when it comes to energy, aluminum also surprises. Recycling this metal consumes only 5% of the energy needed for its raw extraction, making the battery's life cycle not only cheaper, but also more environmentally friendly. This means that, at the end of a vehicle's lifespan, a large portion of the battery can be reused with almost zero environmental impact. While the world races towards sustainable solutions, Tesla is already delivering a recyclable and scalable reality. But perhaps the biggest shock comes from the safety aspect. Aluminum ion batteries use a different type of electrolyte, an ionic liquid that doesn't catch fire, even under extreme pressure. It's stable up to 200 degrees Celsius, and unlike the volatile electrolytes of lithium, doesn't spontaneously combust. In tests conducted by Stanford University, the cells were intentionally punctured, crushed, and even short-circuited. The result? No fire, no smoke, no explosion. A peace of mind that lithium never managed to deliver. This thermal stability is the kind of thing that doesn't make a sound, but changes everything in practice. Imagine an electric car parked under the scorching sun of Dubai or facing the extreme cold of a city in northern Canada. With aluminum ion technology, performance remains stable between 50 degrees C and 85 degrees C. This expands the field of use for Tesla cars, allowing operation in extreme environments without risk of failure or accelerated degradation. It's an advantage that speaks directly to demanding consumers and commercial fleets. For those who drive daily, this type of safety translates into confidence. Nobody wants to get into a car and worry about the battery overheating in the middle of a journey. And when it comes to convincing the general public to adopt electric vehicles, this feeling of control and peace of mind outweighs any technical specifications. It's like trusting a Swiss watch. You don't need to understand the inner workings. You just need to know that it always works. And there's more. The fact that aluminum is chemically inert with these electrolytes further reduces the risk of chain reactions. This means that, even in serious accidents, the battery does not contribute to worsening the situation. In a world where videos of cars catching fire go viral in seconds, this is a difference that can save not only reputations, but lives. Aluminum ion enters the scene as the unassuming hero, the one that doesn't need a cape, but saves the day nonetheless. What really makes people's eyes widen when they hear about aluminum ion technology is the charging time. We're talking about something that seemed impossible just a few years ago, a fully electric car that can be charged in less than five minutes. It's the kind of phrase that even sounds exaggerated, like overly optimistic marketing. But prototypes have already proven it's possible, and Tesla is about to turn it into a real product. In the Model 2, this capability completely changes the perception of what it means to recharge a car. Suddenly, the biggest inconvenience of electric vehicles, the waiting time, becomes irrelevant. To understand the magnitude of this, just compare. A Tesla Supercharger V3 charges lithium batteries at up to 250 kiloliters, and even then it takes between 20 and 40 minutes to reach 80%. Tests with aluminum ion batteries reached peaks of 1,000 kilodollars in short intervals, with full charges in three minutes for smaller packs. Even if the packs for larger vehicles are in the 350 to 500 kilobar range, we're still talking about a reduction of more than 80% 
in waiting time. This means that, in the time it takes someone to buy a coffee and come back, the car is already ready to drive hundreds of kilometers. This speed redefines the experience for the average driver. Imagine stopping at a charging station, looking at the dashboard and seeing the estimated time. Full charge in four minutes. It's almost like filling up with gasoline, but without the smell, the noise and the pollution. And for the skeptics who always said that charging would be the Achilles heel of electric vehicles, this advancement is a direct blow to that argument. The Model 2 is showing that the future isn't just electric, it's instantaneous. But the revolution doesn't stop there. This battery is not only fast, it's incredibly durable. While a traditional lithium battery begins to lose performance after one to 3,000 cycles, the aluminum ion battery can reach 12,000 cycles without perceptible degradation. Translating this to real life, it means that the car could travel about 2.5 million kilometers without needing to change the battery. It's a longevity that surpasses that of many combustion engines and transforms the consumer's relationship with their vehicle. Think about the economic impact of this. Fewer battery replacements mean lower maintenance costs, less industrial waste, and higher resale value. It's the first time the promise of a lifetime battery actually seems plausible. And frankly, there's something almost poetic about imagining that the car might age before the battery. A concept that goes against the waste and rampant consumerism that dominated the 20th century. Musk, at this point, isn't just selling efficiency, he's selling longevity. And there's another detail that stands out. These batteries don't suffer as much from temperature-related degradation. Even under extreme heat or intense cold, performance remains stable, further increasing the number of possible cycles. It's as if aluminum was tailor-made to withstand time, both chronological and climatic. This opens up possibilities for applications in sectors beyond automotive, such as electric aviation and cargo transport, where durability is crucial. For those who think in terms of daily use, this robustness translates into peace of mind. There's no longer any need to fear the gradual loss of range after a few years. The car will continue to perform like new, even after a decade of use. This changes the perceived value of electric vehicles, transforming them into long-term investments, not bets on fleeting technology. And it's curious how this feeling of permanence contrasts with the frenetic pace of today's technological innovations. If there's one thing that sets aluminum ion batteries apart from previous generations, it's their intelligent use of space. By 2026, a battery need more than just power and durability. It needs to be efficient in terms of its volume. Tesla understood this clearly by investing in optimized internal structures for compact vehicles like the Model 2. Thanks to the use of advanced materials like 3D graphene, the volumetric density of these new cells exceeds $1,750 per liter. This number, at first glance, may not impress those who aren't engineers, but it represents almost double the density of the best lithium batteries in production today. Translating this to the reality of a car, it means that Tesla can offer the same range as always with a much smaller battery. And this opens up a range of design and efficiency possibilities. With less floor space occupied, there's more volume available for structural reinforcements, improvements in passive safety, or simply more interior space for the passenger. In a compact car, every cubic centimeter is precious. And when the battery ceases to be an obstacle and becomes an ally in the design, everything changes. Another bright spot in this strategy is the cell design. Tesla is abandoning the traditional 2170 and 4680 cylinders, now adopting a pouch-type format, thin, flexible, and stackable cells, about 4 millimeters thick. This feature allows the cells to be molded to fit the car's structure, almost like pieces of a puzzle. They can be accommodated in door panels, seat backs, or even in currently underutilized cavities. The result is a battery that doesn't disrupt the design. It integrates with it. Furthermore, the use of ionic liquid electrolytes and sealed polymer coatings 
makes these cells much more resistant to deformation without loss of performance. This means that, even in an accident, the battery has a better chance of surviving intact. It's a silent resistance that works invisibly, but it's there, protecting and ensuring the vehicle's efficiency in any scenario. And with a reduction of up to 30% in cell weight compared to lithium versions, Tesla gains not only in space, but also in lightness. This lightness, by the way, is not just a technical benefit. It directly influences the car's behavior. A Model 2 with 150 kilo less battery responds better in curves, accelerates more agilely, and consumes less energy per kilometer driven. It's as if, by improving the battery, Tesla has fine-tuned the car like a musician tunes an instrument. Everything becomes more precise, more harmonious, and this harmony is not only perceived by engineers, the average driver feels it behind the wheel, even without knowing exactly what has changed. The flexible cell architecture also allows for modularity. This means that, in future updates or different versions of the Model 2, Tesla will be able to easily add or remove battery modules, adjusting range or weight according to the car's intended purpose. It's an approach reminiscent of the Lego concept, versatile, scalable, and adaptable. And for a company that aims for millions of units per year, this represents cost savings, agility, and less complexity on the assembly line. From a maintenance and recycling standpoint, these batteries also have clear advantages. The pouch format facilitates disassembly and separation of materials, speeding up repair or reuse processes. Unlike pressed cylinders, which require tools and controlled environments for safe disassembly, pouches can be handled with much more freedom. This, combined with the aforementioned durability, transforms the vehicle's life cycle into something much more sustainable and economical. In 2026, what caught the attention of market analysts wasn't just the Model 2's performance, but what was behind its price? How did Tesla manage to reduce the final cost of an electric car so much without sacrificing range, safety, or durability? The answer, of course, lies in aluminum ion technology. To give you an idea, a 60 kWh lithium battery currently costs Tesla around U7 Audi $800. An aluminum battery with similar capacity, on the other hand, can be produced for approximately a 3900, a direct 50% reduction. And when you're manufacturing millions of units, every dollar saved translates into billions. This price reduction completely changes the math for electric cars. Combined with the tax incentives provided by the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, which offers up to $7,500 in credits for vehicles with components not made in China, the Model 2 could reach the American consumer for somewhere between $11,000 and $14,000. This puts the Tesla car below the price of a basic Toyota Corolla or an entry-level Honda Civic. However, unlike these combustion engine models, the Model 2 is 100% electric, cleaner, quieter, and full of onboard technology. And we're not talking about a generic project. The Model 2 is equipped with the same software base as Tesla's most expensive models, 